Guys, today we're going to talk about the information technology management degree. So this is a business administration degree. It is basically a crossover between a tech and a business degree. So it's more of a business degree than it is a tech degree, but it has a lot of crossover uh, with both. So it can get you jobs in both sectors. I actually like this degree a lot. Uh, I would probably even do this over the regular information technology degree, even though that one is probably a lot harder. The information technology management degree is definitely a degree that's less difficult. If you do all the ACE credits, you can definitely get it done in one term, two terms at the most. Uh, all of the business degrees, you can definitely get done in a term or two, especially if you transfer in ACE credits. There are some tough tech classes on there, but it's nothing that you can't handle. So we'll, we'll get into the spreadsheet in a second. But like I said, you can get technology jobs with this, like anything you can get with the information technology degree. Basically, you want to add all the same certificates that you have with that degree, right? You want to add, you know, your your CompTIAs and, you know, your eventually your CISSP and things like that. You want to add all the same certificates. So basically, this is a really good degree. Uh, it can get you a lot of the same jobs it would with uh, the normal information technology degree. But you still have to prove that you know as much information as somebody does with the information technology degree. So basically, somebody with that degree is going to know a lot more about tech than this degree. But that's where you have to self-study and self-learn. You're basically, you know, you're accomplishing a little easier of a degree, but you can still get all the same jobs with some extra work on your own. So very valuable degree. Um, like I said, you can also work in business too, a lot of business classes, and it's also technically a business administration degree, which will say business administration on your resume. So like I said, this is a very versatile degree. Uh, like I said, it's probably, you know, one of my favorite business degrees at the school and one of my favorite degrees in general. So is, is it the degree I would personally do? No, like I said, I'm always going to recommend computer science or software engineering as the two degrees that you should do. But if you really are going to do a business degree, you know, I would recommend either this one, accounting or finance, whichever three interests you the most. Right. And this might be like if you want some type of tech job, but you want a business degree, this is perfect. I honestly think this degree is perfect for like a business analyst or it could even probably get you into DevOps if you do some learning on the side and do some networking. So we'll get into the spreadsheet on this one right now. All right, guys, we are in the spreadsheet for this degree. And I did have a couple requests for this video. I do plan to make a uh, video for almost every WGU degree. So if you do request one, I probably already have it in the works. Um, there's only a couple degrees I won't be doing a video on, um, but I have a whole lineup set up. So I've got a human resource one coming out soon and a bunch of others too. So just uh, be on the lookout for that. And if you do request one, just know that I'm probably already in the process of making it. Uh, so I did get a couple requests for this. So I do want to, you know, take my time and, you know, uh, let you guys know what's going to transfer in and what courses you can, um, what courses you're going to take at WGU and if those courses are going to be difficult and what to expect in those courses. So first off, we're going to see what you can transfer in. You can transfer in 78 credits from ACE credits, and you're going to transfer in your general education. These are all two day courses. If you have the time, right? And when I say you have the time, it's like, you know, if you want to do a course in two days, do you have like eight hours a day to spend on it? Like, are you going to obsess over it? Otherwise it's probably going to take you a little longer, but these are two day courses. Um, all of these, all these business ones, all these general end ones, two days, even database fundamentals. Although this is something you'll need on the job a little bit. So I'd pay a little more attention to this one. Uh, same thing here and here. So these three are kind of crucial to your degree more. Um, but yeah, these business classes right here, these are all, you know, two days, maybe four days at the most, if you have the time, right? If you work full time, you only have two hours for this. You know, these courses are probably going to take you a week, maybe 10 days each. You know, they're going to take longer and there's no shame in that. So it's all if you have all the time in the world to invest into these courses. A uh, straighter line, uh, accounting one and two will knock out this class, which is a pain in the butt I've heard at WGU. So 
I would recommend doing both of these courses at Straight Line to knock out this course. So that is uh, very valuable. I know sounding, I know uh, doing two courses to knock off one sounds kind of redundant, but trust me, it's worth it. Uh, English, take it at straight align. And you could take it at study.com. It's actually easier at study.com. Just make sure that WGU is where you're going to finish. I think I've said this countless times now where straight lines English will transfer in, transfer into almost any partner school. Whereas study.com's English will only transfer into select schools, including WGU. Uh, Straighter Lines English is a little more difficult and it's a more standard curriculum. So all of these partner schools that accept ACE credits will accept Straighter Lines English. So if you decide to drop out of WGU, you want to give some other school a try like Thomas Edison State University or, you know, CSU Global. Like there's there's so many of them. Like you have the Straighter Line English in your back pocket. But if you're like, hey, I'm doing WGU no matter what, going to power through it. You know, I'm going to do English at study.com. Then, you know, I actually, I actually would recommend to do it at study.com because it's a little easier at there. So then you do all the math classes here at Straight Align, two classes at Sophia, actually introduction to uh, statistics and project management. So project management, you can do at study.com, but it's a little hard there. But uh, I, if you want to get it done there, you can. So I just I recommend these two courses at Sophia. And get them done in one month. I mean, a lot less than a month, but you're going to pay for a month membership. And then you have the courses you will do at WGU, which is 42 credits. So we're going to go through these right now. I've actually taken a lot of these. This course, two days. Okay. It's a two part writing assignment. And if you're an average speed writer, and on, I'm honestly probably an average speed writer at best. <laughs> like, I'm pro-level procrastinator and pro-level, uh, you know, just taking a mental break after like one paragraph, you know? So if I can get this course done in two or three days, you can do it too. Just, you know, stay motivated, power through it. And once you know you're like, you're going to get two credits, like once you finish the writing assignment, like that's an amazing feeling. So that's what keeps you motivated. It's like, Hey, I'm going to get these credits as soon as I turn in this assignment. Right. And it's graded. So, um, this, these two are also two-day courses, very simple writing assignments. Uh, if you've never gone to WGU, which I'm assuming you haven't, right? You're probably watching this video because you haven't started any classes yet. Or maybe you have and you just want my feedback on some of the courses. But a lot of you watching probably have not actually started yet. So there's an OA and a PA at WGU. A PA is a writing ex assignment and an OA is a test. So if you want to accelerate, guys, do not be scared of any class. PA, just turn in the writing assignment, Re read the rubric, okay, and write enough to satisfy the rubric. Do not go crazy on it. Worst thing that happens is they send it back to you. Worst thing that happens again is they also send it back to you, okay? Like, I don't know what happens if that happens like four or five times in a row, but, you know, I've never seen that happen, right? You're going to pass by your third try, like, no matter what, because you're going to correct the things they tell you to correct. PAs, a lot of people just overthink it and this costs them acceleration time. Turn in the PA, read the rubric, you know, meet the minimums of the rubric and then turn it in. So these are all two, three day courses right here. Introduction to spreadsheets. If I remember correctly, th this is kind of a hard class for a one unit class. So do the PA right away. Okay. And whatever you did on the PA, it's going to be very similar on the OA. So pay attention on the PA. Remember everything that you did on the PA. And that's basically the OA, if I remember correctly. So if you master the PA, which is the practice, the practice assessment, it's not a writing assignment like these ones. So there's two separate PAs, right? PA on these ones is a, uh, a writing assignment. And PA right here means practice assignment. And then there's OA, which is the ob objective assessment. So um, practice assessment, I guess, is what it would stand for. And then objective assessment is the test, the real test. So just pay attention to the PA, master the PA, and you should pass the OA. You should be able to do this class in one or two days. Uh, I never took this course, but I doubt it's that hard. 
Uh, this one, some people struggle with this one. You know, for me, go on YouTube and watch uh, Cohorts by Dr. Haywood. So that's one of the things that let me pass this course is I paid attention to all his videos. He used to actually work at WGU when I attended this class. He was the professor of that class. And now I think he just kind of, uh, I don't know what he does now. I don't think he's at WGU anymore, but he has like a whole YouTube series on this class and it covers the WGU material like almost exactly. So watch those cohorts. Honestly, I don't think you need anything else. Uh, watch the cohorts, take the PA right away. And on the PA, make sure like you, you know, study the questions, study all the answers, study anything related to the questions. Like, is it part of a broad, broader category, right? Is the question part of a broader category? Study that, study everything about that question. So PA and Dr. Haywood, study those two things and you should pass this course. Uh, three, three days, four days, maybe you should pass that course. Um, never took this one or this one. I've heard business of IT applications is pretty hard. So this, this course might actually take you like 10 days. You know, it just all depends. Of course you have your capstone project, which is just going to be a lot of writing and, um, you know, it's going to take a lot of time. So you want to save this for last or second to last. Uh, information systems management um that is probably a hard course as well but like i said none of these courses will probably take you too long uh, value-based leadership simple course business simulate simulation is a course i took and i passed that in a few days um i think i have feedback on that in one of my other videos basically just it's a project uh business you're running a business tinker around with the numbers and eventually you'll pass it. It's hard to explain, but you know, you're running your own business. Just tinker around with the numbers, um, you know, change the numbers, you know, see what works for your business. And like, as long as you keep trying, you'll eventually pass it. Like once you get in there, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Change management. I heard it can be a little tricky. I've never taken this course. Um, once again, I doubt it's going to take you more than 10 days at the most. Uh, business of IT management portfolio requirements. So that's probably, you know, one of the final two classes and that probably will take you quite some time. So once again, you want to get all these classes done fast so you can focus on these two right here because they're going to take some time. And this one you'll probably have to, you know, spend some time on as well. So, you know, and you might want to pay, atten pay attention to this one too, because, you know, this is one of the things you're studying in this degree, right? It's one of the things you're here to learn. But uh, you want to transfer in all these, you know, this is a degree that can be hacked. This is a degree that can be accelerated. So all the business degrees can be hyper accelerated. You know, you can do them all in one term if you use ACE credits. The technology degrees you can also do in one term, but it's a little harder. Uh, but you can do all of those definitely within two terms for sure. Um, so yeah, these uh, this degree is very hackable, very doable in one term. You can have your bachelor degree in six months. I mean, if you take, you know, all these credits, you're going to do ACE credits, right? So, you know, all of these, like if you do all the study.com ones and then you do the straighter line and Sophia ones, like similar time, all of this is probably going to take you four months, five at the very most, I would assume, but I would say four months. But like I said, if you have a full-time job, maybe five, six months, but Let's say you did that and then you do all of this one term at WGU. If you get your course list down to this, right? You transfer in all those ACE credits. This, this is likely done in one term, these 42 credits. So you would have a bachelor, you would have a bachelor degree in under one year or exactly one year, which is amazing. You'll, you'll go from zero credits to graduate in a year or less. So, and if you count just WGU, you can have a six month bachelor degree. So, uh, I like this degree, you know, I think it's a, it's a pretty, um, it's a cool crossover between business and technology. And while I wouldn't say it's like the most amazing, like job prospects, you know, it's, you're getting a degree that's actually like not that difficult, you know? So you're getting a fairly easier degree, um, that you can accomplish in a year or less. You know, it's not going to stress you out that much. That still has like somewhat good job prospects. You know, 
you can, you can take a look at the computer science and software engineering degrees, or even the data analytics degree and see if you can handle that course load. If you think it, you know, if you think you like it, um, but if that's not you, like if this is what interests you, this still has good job prospects and it's not going to stress you out to the maximum either. You know, there's no crazy math, you know, there's no crazy tech classes, right? Like it's not going to stress you out unbelievably. So it's a good balance of like more on the easier side and still has good job prospects, not great job prospects, but pretty good job prospects. Um, but yeah, I like this degree a lot. I really do actually. So the IT management degree, this has been around WGU for quite a while and, uh, I don't think it's going anywhere. Um, you can use this link at the top 25% off study.com. You won't find that, uh, at study.com and you won't find it in any of their ads either, but you can find it right here in this spreadsheet. Um, but yeah, I wish you guys the absolute best of luck. If you choose this degree, feel free to comment below. Um, I'm always available to answer questions, you know, especially because I am a new YouTube channel. So I'm trying to be as active as possible with you guys and answer anything I can and just help you in any way I can. You know, it's a little harder if you become like a big YouTuber and have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, hundreds of comments, thousands of comments, right? At that point, you know, it might be hard. It might be hard for me to answer questions, but I am still, you know, a small YouTuber and I'm here to help you guys. And like I said, just drop a comment below and I'll do whatever I can to help you out. So anyways, guys, good luck with your degree. I wish you happy, um, you know, happy degree completing, happy job hunting, and you can do it. Stay motivated, you know, keep yourself engaged. Anyways, guys.